Hey guys, I hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to Anglophile 2.0 here in EU4. We are currently colonizing a little bit of the New World, getting in there. Uh, unfortunately, in the last episode, we were not able to take Lisboa. It's fine. It's 32 dev. It's going to take some time to uh, get that anyways. Aggressive expansion is... It's pretty bad. So for the time being, we're mostly just sitting here and uh, kind of waiting. I would like to take Rome. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, AE is going to be our major issue. So, uh, I got a lot of comments saying, like, well, why don't you, you know, migrate down and start sieging down stuff in Africa? And you know what? I agree with you. So, we're going to do that. So, today, we are going to get uh, part of an army down here. Let's see what kind of an army that Mali has. Um, Mali has 26,000. And uh, what's this mill tech looking like? Nine? Nine. So this 25 stack should be more than enough. Let's have them head on down now. And we're going to prepare ourselves. We're going to attack them and start consolidating a little bit of this African lands. Uh, also, it would probably be smart. That's fine. It would probably be smart for us to start um, trying to get some chartering trade companies, right? That would be good. We need to keep on converting for our vassals as well because they don't need me to, but uh, I will. Look at this religious map mode, friends. Look at that. Mm, that is so good. I love that he's converting all this stuff down here. We got some rebels over here. Um, where is this stack? Here we go. We knew it was going to happen. Are they avoiding stronger enemies? No, they're not. Very good. Very, very good. Let's get the Christian. Eh, actually, we're going to switch him over once out. Uh, it's going to take us a minute to get our um, our guy anyways. So I was looking. It may actually be better for us to steer. Eh, no, it's definitely better for us to steer here. There is just so much trade power. City that is not getting transferred from Lubeck into our node. Kind of crazy, actually. It's okay. Oh, yes. Stronger enemies. Ridiculously stupid AI. Fix your game, please. Please fix your game. Uh, but they're stronger than me. I have a five, a three-star general. Uh, so here's a... Here, ooh, okay. So let's take a look here. We can get a stab or... <laughs> well, that's awesome. Because uh, I was saving up to get this, but it uh, looks like instead of getting this or this, I can have that and that. That's not bad, right? So let's do a trade company here. At least see if we can... Ideally, we take one with a trade node, like this Ngoyo. A trade node, but uh, the center of trade. Not bad. So we've got that there, and that will give us... Um, I, if you wanted to, like, min-max it and go for naval range or coloni colonial range, that would be smart, but I don't care. I'm fine with it. I'd rather have the trade, because that's in the Ivory Coast node, so... I was working on this New World province, but uh, yeah, I kind of lost interest. We're going to head over here. We can afford to have an extra um, spot or two anyways, so it's not a big deal. Alrighty then. Let's have you head back down here to like Aha, or however that's pronounced. We don't need innovativeness anymore, so uh, yeah, it's fine. church power or yeah, yeah that's fine i'll definitely take the church power because that's free money then it's kind of crazy how much money we've gotten from church power tbh so let's continue to suppress his rebels because he wants to have rebels i guess i don't know ai is not good at handling their own rebels you basically have to do it for you for them if you have a uh, vassals so let's um switch david bedford out put christian button in here And a uh, couple of months, we'll be able to get our claim here. We're about to max out on Diplo and Mill Mana, and we're 14 years ahead on tech. That is literally insane. Literally. See? I'm British roleplay here. So, take a look. Copper. Get some goods produced in copper. Sounds good. 
What else do we got over here? Cloth. Yarn. Is that what it is? Wool. Naval supplies. Iron. Super cheap. I already have all the edicts on over here, so I'm not too bothered by it. Yes. This one will eventually be coal, so there's nothing wrong with devin that up a bit. And this one is cloth, so and since it's so cheap, I, I've gotten a lot of questions asking if I've gotten the Industrial Revolution. I have. I have gotten the Achievement Industrial Revolution, which is to have uh, every province in the England area or England subregion or whatever it is. What is it? I don't know. Everything in England to be 25 dev, and I've already gotten it. So that's sus. It's so big. I kind of want to leave it just because it's funny. And for the last... Okay. So here's the thing. Now I'm thinking about it. I have gotten literally like 50 comments being like, Why aren't you releasing Morocco? They have so many cores you can reconquest. It's because I don't feel like it. Children. Hmm. You can play your game how you want to play it. And I'll play mine how I want to play it. Sound like a good deal? Mr. Peanut Gallery. No, I'm just... I mean, I'm half kidding. I don't actually mind a little bit of tips and tricks here, but geez, oh, Pete, people get so fired up when I don't play how they want me to. <laughs> it is kind of crazy. All right, so let's attack these guys. Oh, wait one day. That was my little rant. Just a little rant, not too bad. Let's actually have you guys head over here and wipe out his, na his uh, navy first off. Speed four is fine for now. We likely won't need to do it for long. Yeah, they're handled. Very good. There we go. We just completely wiped his navy. Big deal. Or no big deal, I mean. <clears throat> and uh, now we just need to siege down his forts here. He's got a couple of allies in here that I don't particularly want to fight. Oyo. Mm, it would have been smart to probably co-belligerent them, but it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. Let's uh, just speed five this war. Our siege ability is very strong. This is hills as well, so we can probably force them into a nice... Oh, look. Look at Castile land and 22,000 men. What an... Oh, France as well? Holy shnikes, man. Yep, we're just going to push through it. Upgrade center of trade costs as well. That's pretty good. It would actually probably be smart for me to do that for my vassals, because I haven't done that. So, if you don't know, you don't need an explorer to march through Fog of War uh, if you're at war with the person. Just use a general. Oh, that's pretty nice. Look at that siege tick. 18 days, 20 days. Not bad. Morale of armies. Sheesh. We're working on admin tech, so that is fortuitous. Fortuitous indeed. All right. So this Messina, or however it's pronounced, you guys can just get white piece, because I'll, I'll come back for you later. When the Siege of Joma... Let's have you guys taken by Boats over there. It'll just be faster to have them navally dropped off there. Um, half off ad, half off mill guy. Level three, AKA level five. <laughs> Look at that. That's not too bad. So this province is just gonna take a bit longer. It's fine. We'll come back for it later. I mean, Colonization is not something I've ever really been too keen on. It's just boring to me. A lot of people swear that it's like, you know, the optimal way to play and the, you know, you, you know how the EU4 community is. You got to play a certain way or else you're playing wrong, right? I've been told many, many times that I play wrong. <laughs> That's the beauty of a sandbox game like this. You can play however you dang well please and there is nothing stopping you except for the peanut gallery. They will try to stop you, but... I will persevere and we will play. But um, I will say this. I have had so, so much positive feedback on this campaign and I have been enjoying it just as much as you guys seem to be in the comments. So I'm really thankful that I got so many people that are just like throwing love my way, man. You guys are awesome. Oh yeah, I'll pillage your capital. It's fine. Give me your trade power and come up here and wipe out his army because screw him. That's why. <laughs> And uh, we'll piece these guys out for what we're looking for right here. Boom, boom, boom. I'll just take one less ducat or two less ducats. There you go. And there we go. 
so as far as what we can take here do we already have the we do okay well, we actually have all of them now well i want the fort at least man we can go deep a lot of ae and a lot of overextension yeah this, this is fine the ae is pretty bad but most of the central african natives don't even know who i am so you can see we're not really gaining any with anybody except for the native african natives um Clemson would join. I, I I don't care about them. Don't care about Joloff. Don't care about any of these guys. All right. So. And war reps and a nice long truce because screw you. <laughs> Very good. Not bad. How's that for some uh, Imperial conquest? Very good. And uh, the reason why I uh, was doing that was because it lowers the dev of the area, which means instead of 95 overextension... Oh, right, yeah, we can't uh, core this. Oopsies. Yeah, that's going to be a little painful. But instead of 95, it's 76, so... Helps out quite a bit. Plus, it's like... You don't want to pay for this dev. So you don't want to pay to administer this dev, rather. A bit more than you'd like. I guarantee you. Oh, right, then. Let's, um... Convert my own lands first. Um, let's convert... Let's yoink you from the trade company and then convert you. How long did it say it was going to take? 30 months? Damn. That's a long time. Let's see here. Yeah, most of the stuff is the fetishist stuff that's uh, over here. So I suppose we can just convert a uh, province for him for it next. Yeah, it's fine. Still converting everything, man. Look at that Anglican. <laughs> it is so good. There you go. They are handled. Very nice. Very nice. Corruption is growing. So you just do one of those guys and I don't care. Our influence over Prussia. Sadly. We could vassalize them. But uh, there's not really a good way to get to war with them quite, net, quite yet. So... Not a big deal. Build a couple of these guys here. Production is nice. We don't really need the manpower, so I'll forego it for now. Since we are not at war, I will upgrade his centers of trade for them. Right, so we're now playing on uh, dot five. 31.5. So now it only requires 10 development, which is nice, because it was stupid that it was 15 before. And then level three is what? I don't know what level three is, but we'll upgrade it for him anyways. Uh-huh. Good. You guys are good down there. Nice. Get you guys devved up to 10. I think that's a good strange. So here's the thing. I'm actually okay with them having development limits or requirements. I think that's totally fine. Um, the issue was that it was ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay. You guys will upgrade yours twice. Well, whenever I can afford it. All right. So, Catholic Zealots in Tangiers. Good thing there's a fort there. So I don't have to worry about it. Brandenburg is uh, attacking somebody. That's fine. I don't care. I'll join you. No big deal. I'm not actually going to do anything. My vassals will go. It's just so nice having these big, strong vassals because they'll handle all the wars for me. And I literally do nothing. Nothing. So Hungary is still got a speed of succession, man. Oh my gosh. The chances of us getting on his throne are really high. Well, I wouldn't say really high, but not bad. They're not bad. Let's uh, get some spy network here on the Congo. I guess if we're going to take out some natives, we might as well do it, right? Same with Jolof. These guys have got a, got a bunch of uh, allies in there. You are blessed. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. A little bit of a... Was that Nicki Minaj? I think. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Um. So this... I need to get a fort over here in Amsterdam. Because I'm just going to keep on getting occupied over and over again. Unless I get one there. I'll lose the Diplomana. We're fine. We're still like 12 years ahead of time. 11 years ahead of time. So it's fine. I'm just deving with it anyways. Money for mercantilism and burger loyalty. That is totally fine. We get this stuff cored up and that will help out with our overextension. Like we're going to have a lot of unrest and it's just because of the overextension. We're probably going to have a couple of rebel stacks pop in the, in Africa. It's fine. It's really not a big deal. 
All right, let's uh, take extra colonists here. Get you down to the Cape. That'll give us a free merchant. As soon as you get down to the Cape, as long as you have it, the correct religion, you get a free, um, a free um, merchant for the trade company region. So it's really nice. Very good. 16 favors, not bad. Let's get a claim on Joma. And then that, I don't need any more of that. Let's go ahead and take the merit that. And so I got a question of asking about, uh, oh, wow. Looks like Artemis updated this so his sponsor bigger. Um, mercantilism, it does affect, so somebody had asked if it affects vassal loyalty, no, but it does affect colonial nation loyalty. They get a scaling modifier to their disloyalty as your mercantilism goes up. So it's a double-edged sword. Your vassals will be, or your colonial vassals will be more disloyal, but your regular vassals or your your trade income will be substantially increased. So that's kind of the the, the catch twenty two of mercantilism. We also need to let our admin stack up so we can core this stuff up. It's going to be expensive, but uh, it's okay. We're still way ahead. Oh, you love to see that happen. <laughs> we able to take Miltech ten years ahead of time while also getting free mana from an event because we have good stab. Like our nation has just been Oliver Smith is dead. We have been so, so fortunate in this campaign. Get you down there. If you don't know, and if I haven't said it already, maneuver affects your uh, your impact of your ships here. So you can see we're getting an extra 15% because of the maneuver and it's one, one or 5% per maneuver pip. So three pips is 15% um, strength of trade over there. There we go. We converted you. We can't add it back. You, uh, you have to convert trade companies before you send them before you send, um, add them to the trade company, that is. Very good. Core up what we can here. Nice, we can core all of it. Awesome. So, you guys will get uh, cored. So I will convert you. We're going to end up having re rebels. It's, it's totally fine. And where's my other... Where's the other one at? Where are we at here? Rebels are about to just go buck wild over here. Missionary and Bari is almost done. I don't care. It's fine. Uh, I don't care. That's fine. We can lose some money. Go. And this is not required. This is more roleplay. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm converting the religion of these African areas before I add it to my trade company and it's strictly just for fun it's there's no down there's no like reason to really do it it's just because I feel like doing it so we got busted spying over here so let's take a look at the highest dev province obviously it's its capital and uh once we're done getting these rebels sorted out over here we will handle uh nope that is my province I was hoping to get an event to take um Gibraltar from them that's what I'm wanting to do and we're losing a little bit of money, like four ducats a month, I think. Uh, where are we at here? Colonial maintenance, yes, eight. It should be four. It's two per missionary, but or colonist. But since we only have two colonists and we're doing three provinces, that's that's what's going on with that. There we go. That is the last of the rebels, except for the Mali ones. So where are they gonna pop? Probably on this hills fort. So let's get over here. Oh, my general is dead. Bedford. That is absolutely tragic. He served us well. Um, I think the merchant will actually be useful for this one because we have um, a lot of trade power down here. Uh-huh. That is fine. We will steer from here. You can see Sevilla is currently getting 5.6, but if we transfer, which we have way more trade power than Spain does. Let me see here. So, 64.5. Yep, not bad. Six ducats a month we're gaining from that. Pretty good. We'll keep taking the money as well. Whenever we integrate Spain, which eventually we will, I'm letting him colonize for me. Uh, we don't need this Miltech, so 
Uh, uh, we need it, but like we have innovativeness, so there's no point in taking it early. Once you get 100 innovativeness, there's literally no upside to taking tech early. Except for just having it, you know? Global trade power, 20%. Take a look at this. 70, 76. We just gained an extra six decades a month. Plus an additional six from having this mission or merchant down here. Pretty good. Pretty good. So these guys are Anglican. Magic to the trade company. That's fine. And I will now be able to do a couple of clicks. So there's sort of a meta for how you handle trade company investments. First off, sorry, I keep clearing my throat here. First off, this one is good uh, because it gives you trade company, trade power, and production efficiency, which is useful. This one gives goods produced, aka more value into the trade node. And then this guy right here gives you the army tradition, which is nice. But more importantly, it gives the entire trade charter. Even if it's not in the trade company, it gives it 10% 10, 10 trade value modifier. So it just allows you to stack up your money in these areas. Here we go. So let's get you guys down here. It is time to attack the Congo. And since we finished that, actually, we have this guy for free. And then... Advisor cost, Diplo rep, Diplo rep, Merc manpower. Yeah, we're not, it's not worth losing a mana for it. I think we're good. There we go. Still converting provinces over here. So let's convert you as well. And now that this one has been converted, we can add you to the trade company. And uh, I will actually wait and do this one first, just because we have a lot of provinces that are not in the trade company. And it's the most expensive. This one costs a thousand. There you go. We are also maxed out on Diplo mana, or mill mana rather. So let's um, do some exploiting. Got a lot of comments asking like, is this worth, is it worth? Yeah, it's worth. I mean, look, I got money in the bank. I literally just got 400 ducats for that. And I would probably get 400 ducats over, you know, 100 years from these provinces. And the main reason why you do this is because it lowers the overall dev, the total development, which also lowers the amount that it costs to dev it up in the future. That's the major one. That That's like the major reason why you do that. Let's, um, now that we're done deving, let's turn these guys off their edicts for now. Just save a little bit of money. There's no point in spending money on edict if you don't have to. There you go. Now take a look at that. I can lose some church power. I don't mind. There we go. Good money. That's after subsidizing 14 ducats a month to each of my vassals, so... Yeah, we're doing okay. Um... Yeah, I think I'd rather attack Congo first. How much men you got? How many men? How much men you have? Uh, very good. Do you first, and then get our Admiral down here. Blockade, sink his entire navy. No reason not to. Actually have you guys go protect trade in, um... The Côte d'Ivoire? Or as we say in English, the Ivory Coast. Because we speak English in here. A proper British Empire, right? There you go. That's just, you know, it's kind of cheeky, but... Just sink his navy. No big deal. Protect trade, Ivory Coast, go home at war. They'll join up with this stack here. At least they should. Yep, there they go. Very good. Siege his capital down in like two months. Because... Oh my gosh, holy crap. 17 day siege sticks, really. Pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, oh, did they really get an air? No! Oh, this is awesome. Okay, Janos Tudor. Nuh uh, guys. So, this is the part where we can gamble. We can break alliance with them, wait five years, hope that they don't get an air in five years. It's risky. We could dissolve our alliance. We could truce break him. A lot of AE. That's actually totally manageable. Holy crap. Oh, 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 oh no. A lot of these people are in wars right now. Can't even join a coalition against me. Um. Okay. So let's claim his throne. He's still friendly to me, which is awesome. Claim his throne. The reason why we can do this is because we have a royal marriage with him. 
and he has our dynasty. You can see if we go over to our dynasty map mode here, tutor. See? And now we can attack him. It's going to cost four. That's okay. That's really okay. I don't even think a coalition is going to form. It's going to cost us four stab. Very expensive. But remember, we're ahead on admin tech. We're done with our admin group. We can spend some mana here to uh, get that up. We have to do it before he gets an air. And if he were to die naturally, we would be able to get one. But that's uh, a little risky, right? So wait till the sixth here. Make sure we're good. Boost this up twice. And uh, the British War for the Hungarian Throne. Looks like we're going to be getting that. And uh, you have to remember, they have a vassal over here in Moldavia as well. So, uh, yeah, that's quite a bit of clay we're going to be taking in this war. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe. Don't forget to ding the bell. And if you want to support me, I have a Patreon linked in the description below the video, as well as my Discord and my Twitter. Anything like that that you might be looking for. All linked below. That's all I got for you, though. This is Chewy Shoot. I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, Jay Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Jay Cutchell, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.